And here we are. We are ready to pull. So here we go. Got them all out. What we're going to do, start moving this down here. We're going to get all this to cover. So, what we're doing here and what we're able to achieve here by doing this and moving this all around is we're going to get that multi-tone action to hit. It's going to hit all kinds of ways. This is not like painting a wall, just so you know. A little bit different uh, application, if you will. But we do want to get everything covered. And what's one of the most important things is that front edge always. See how that backdrop was white? It was white on purpose so that we could really get this gray to do what we want. Really gonna have that stone pattern, that stone look when we're finished. Now we are gonna go ahead and coat this guy just to get resin here. So that sink will end up sliding in for us perfectly. We won't have any problems with resin on the edge and then not over here. Keeps the runs down. The really cool thing, I'm gonna go on and flash right through here. So, once you are to this point, something really cool that we're going to do right on top is we're going to put 91% isopropyl in these bubbles that are trying to come to the surface. Now, keep in mind, we got plenty of time here to work with. We're not in any rush. I really like this layout. I like the design. I love how it all turned out. It's got that really stonewashed look to it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pop a white pearl isopropyl right on top it's going to put that bullet action in it that we really like to see so i'm going to do a little test phase over here once you get it here we go once you see what's getting ready to happen there you go right out of that light here we go
What do you think, Tom? That looks good. I'm liking what I see here. You can get carried away with the spritz, just so you know. Okay? That front edge is most important. Most people struggle to get this front edge to do this. The trick to the front edge. The trick to the front edge every time. It's all in the prep work. It is in the prep work, okay? Getting this front edge to lay over like this, run free, is very easy to do, but it's not very easy to do. Uh, it, is, it is all about the behind the scenes, what we did to this top prior to putting the resin on. That's how we're able to slide right over. It doesn't matter that we coved it over and coved it under. That is not the secret to getting a clear edge. The secret is, is on the prep side before we get started, walking this down in the grits, getting it silky smooth. The slicker it is, the more it's gonna slide over. And then on top of that, you've got to have enough resin to come over. So this is definitely super sick, super cool. I love how it turned out. It flashes all the 3D effects in there everywhere you look, but it is all completely flat as a pancake and bubble free. So this is step one of our project. Get the surface, this is a two part pour, okay? That's what makes this really cool. This is not done, this is just the beginning. This is our base coat. So that means we will be applying another coat of resin to this piece tomorrow for your viewing pleasure. That way we can add in a totally different set of graphics. We're going to make this sucker jump, come off the table if you will. You're going to be able to see it from across the room. Heck, you could even put your makeup on in this counter. So tune in. We'll bring you right back tomorrow. We'll be wrapping this guy up, putting the graphics to it, the whole works. Thanks again for tuning in. Appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Alright, so check it out. Look, I want to tune you in on what we got real quick. So this really turned out super cool. Okay, again, that's why that backdrop was white. That's why we made that backdrop white. Let me give you the full effect up there. There you go. That's why the backdrop was white, to bring out a lot of these darker tones and calm them down. Look how that front edge hit. I mean, not a run in sight. You ever see a lot of people with counters and they got runs like that right there so that ought to tell you right there remember we went all the way around that the reason I have those runs on the inside but yet I don't have any runs out here on the edge it is just completely smooth the reason for that we did not do to the inside rim like we did to the outside edge that is the night and day difference. That's why everybody's tops that I see mostly have runs in them. And that's why ours is clear as clear as day. There ain't a run in sight with these guys. Look how smooth that edge is all the way down. So if you're seeing this, you know that we're done. We just wrapped this guy up, but this is still just phase one of our dirty pour. So you've watched all three. You're right here with us. Okay, tomorrow we're going to be putting out season three, episode four already. Uh, we're going to be doing the veining techniques, what's going on there. We're going to finish this top out, show you the install, the whole nine. And don't forget, be sure and check out our page. We have over 200 videos. 
We're followed by almost 2,500 people, and we've got an epoxy group that is off the hook with over 4,600 members in it from all over the world. We talk to people all the time from the Philippines, from everywhere, from France, uh, West Africa, you name it. So a lot of really cool artists out there, a lot of people doing a lot of really cool stuff. So we tune into them, we communicate back and forth, we network. If you're not tuned in, if you're not following, you're deeply missing out, I guarantee it. We'll see you back real soon for the next one. Enjoy your evening.